I'm Lauren Gray and I'm going to be showing you my skincare routine as well as my everyday makeup routine which is new and improved. I did my spray tan last night and it's not great. I was really tired and I forgot to moisturize my hands which I would typically do so we're just going to ignore that my hands are orange. First I have my favorite cleanser right now which is the Soap and Glory and this is really good for me because I have seriously dry skin and this is really gentle and I have really sensitive skin too. I'm just going to use a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to wash it off. I usually just wipe it off with a washcloth, but I've been trying to be more gentle on my skin because I'm really rough with my skin. So I've made that a um, resolution for the new year. <laughs> so when I was locked in my house, I did press on nails all of the time. And I actually just went to the nail salon for the first time in a long time. And it's been an adjustment. I'm not used to it. I keep stabbing myself in the eye and stabbing myself in the nose, but um, I like the way they look. So this is my toner by Philosophy. I kind of just keep it on my T-zone. I feel like I break out the most in this area. Right now I'm breaking out everywhere because I'm a 19 year old girl and that happens. When I was in middle school, I used the whole like coconut oil thing, which worked because I was young and it didn't matter. But then once I hit like 17, 18, my skin started getting pretty bad. So then I started branching out and trying different products and seeing what worked. This is a face mask. I don't do this every night, just like two to three times a week. And I like using a brush for this because I don't like it getting in my nails. So I'm just gonna apply this where I feel like I need it. I don't like putting it on my whole face. Skincare is something that's been really hard for me to prioritize because a lot of skincare has to do with self-care. And self-care is difficult for me sometimes. And I feel like skincare is something that can be a task, but it's something that's necessary and makes you feel good. So I'm just gonna wipe it off with a wet washcloth. Next, I have this anti-puff, anti-dark circle eye serum. I get a lot of sleep, or at least I try to, because I used to not get a lot of sleep, and I feel like my body suffers when I don't. So my breakouts are definitely stress related. If I'm stressed, my skin is stressed. Your body definitely reflects how you're feeling. And so I try to take care of my mental health first because that's reflected in your appearance. Wellness as a whole is really important. I've dealt with a lot of trauma and a lot of things throughout my life that kind of build up. And I've been trying to find ways to deal with things um, emotionally and mentally so that my body can be as healthy as it can. I've been setting boundaries with myself on social media. I turned off my likes because that was a big thing for me. It seems so minute and unimportant, but it's so consuming. I feel like more people need to be talking about mental health and how it affects your body and how it can be really, really hard no matter who you are or what position you're in and it's okay. Up next, I have this serum. It's Hyaluronic Glow Serum and Lauren knows I need some glow because my skin is so dry. I'm gonna not rub it in, but tap it in. So once I have this serum on, I just kind of roll that in and this is really good for lymphatic drainage which i learned recently up until then it just looked fancy and i enjoyed doing it feels good it's like a little face massage next up we have a moisturizer and this is the pond's dry skin cream i have very dry skin and i actually started using this because my best friend's uh, great grandmother is 108 years old now, and she's been using this moisturizer for a long time, and she has very minimal wrinkles. And I don't know if this is because of that, but I'm gonna take any beauty advice that I can from that woman. And I try not to put too much on because a little bit goes a long way with this. The last step in my skincare routine is the Maria Badescu facial spray, and I love this one because it's orange blossom. So now my skin feels incredible and we're gonna get into my favorite part, which is makeup. I kind of switched it up. I've been wearing winged eyeliner for the past like five or six years. And recently I've started branching out past winged eyeliner and doing different looks. I'm excited to share this with you. So the first step is primer. And I really like this one because it's moisturizing and it's for all skin types. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face cause I want my makeup to stick to it. And this one is pretty wet which I feel like sometimes primers aren't like moisturizing and I need that in my life. 
So I have two different foundations right now. This is Dior and this is NARS. When I do my spray tans, I'm always a different shade. As the spray tan fades, I sort of have to color match my skin. It's important to have different shades if you're a pale girl who does spray tans. There we go. And a little bit of this one. So I'm just gonna test a little bit on my face. That one looks pretty good. But sometimes I mix them together too, it just depends. I'm just gonna mix them together and pray for the best. I feel like my whole life my mom told me that I needed to blend down my neck and I was like, stop mom, and she was right. So I just kind of push it up into my hairline. I have a widow's peak, so I have to like pull that back a little bit. Get it on my ears, that's important. Now I'm gonna use the beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend it in because I feel like the brush leaves marks sometimes and then I blend it down my neck a little bit. And then my favorite part is I do the double chin to see if my neck matches. Well, I also have the Dior concealer and the NARS concealer because I like to keep things the same. For the NARS concealer, I use that on spots that are like blemishes because this is really good for that. And then the Dior concealer is like my under eyes and I'll, I'll show you. I'm just gonna go over places where I know I have breakouts, which is here. So I kind of place it with the brush and then I blend it out with the beauty blender. So I started doing my makeup because I hated the way that I look. And I started doing makeup to sort of hide behind that and then it became more about the art and I just really, really loved doing it. So now I use makeup to enhance my features and enhance my beauty that I have inside of me. And I bring it out instead of hiding behind it. Now I'm gonna use the Dior concealer I'm gonna do my cream contour, which I never used to do before, but I recently started getting into it. So I use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick and I put it like that. I put it right underneath my cheekbone. I put it here and here. Because I have a widow's peak, putting the contour here and here kind of evens out my hairline a little bit because adding those shadows there, I don't know, it's just something I've learned. I'm gonna do one line here and one line here. So I learned this nose contour trick on TikTok and I really like it. And I just kind of, I learned a lot of stuff on TikTok. Stuff I didn't even know was possible. I also like to go underneath my contour with a little bit of concealer. And I feel like if my foundation doesn't match my skin, this helps a lot. And it also helps to sort of carve out that contour. So it's kind of like baking, but it's just with cream. I started social media on Musical.ly. Before TikTok, it was Musical.ly. It started as posting videos and then I got really into it. I would come home from school and I would put my makeup on and I would get in front of the camera and I would do it all day. I would sit in my room, I would go live and I would talk to people and I put I put a lot of effort into it and I feel like that was a really weird transition as a 13 year old to go from like being in school and then I was homeschooled and now I was making videos all of the time. It was hard work and but it was fun and I still love doing it. So I used two powders. I used the Charlotte Tilbury powder and the Laura Mercier powder. So I'm gonna use the fair shade of the Charlotte Tilbury powder underneath my eyes, like right here. And I feel like it brightens it up a little bit. After I do that, I use the Laura Mercier powder. I use my beauty blender because I feel like it presses the powder into my skin better. And I just sort of put it everywhere that I don't have contour because we're going to go over that with bronzer. Now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. Now I'm just going to bronze everywhere that I put the contour. Well, I like to build everything and I like that the contour stick adds like a nice foundation for the powder because it's already a little bit darker so once you put the powder on top of it it just kind of 
solidifies everything. This is the tricky part. This is when I powder my nose contour. So I'm just kind of following the guideline that I set earlier and making my way up. And I don't like my nose contour to be too severe. I have done some severe nose contours and it did not look good. So I just kind of take it easy now. For blush and highlight, I have this little hourglass palette and it has four different shades in it. And I like to use this champagne one for my highlight and I kind of mix these two together for my blush like that tap it off and then I don't bring it in too far I like to keep everything sort of to the outside of my face now I'm going to use this like champagne color and I like this highlighter because it's not too sparkly I just kind of keep everything really soft and then I also put it right here and a little bit above my brow too I just kind of do the little this thing I don't know, Rihanna said to do that. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm just gonna put that on the tip of my nose, like that, and right here. And I don't like to drag it all the way down. I just keep it sort of here and here. I also saw a girl on TikTok do that. And I was like, mm, that looks good. I do tint my own eyebrows because my eyebrows are basically white. So unless I tint them, they don't exist. And it creates kind of a guideline. First, I just kind of trace underneath my brow. And this is the Anastasia brow pencil, which I've been using forever since I started doing makeup. And then I'll show you, I make little hairs. Perfect. As someone who was bullied for their eyebrows pretty much their whole childhood, take it very seriously. <laughs> now I'm using the Makeup by Mario Brow Gel. I like this brow gel because it's not too heavy, but it keeps everything in place. So I just kind of brush my brows up and then down on the end. And I don't know, I just like this look better now. So next I'm doing my eye look, which I'm really excited for. I'm gonna use this light brown and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease. I will sit in my room if I have nothing else to do and just do my own makeup and I'll look at Pinterest boards and I'll be like, hmm, I wanna do my makeup like that. And then I'll try and see if it looks good on me. I'm using a liquid like pen eyeliner and I'm just gonna do a line Now I'm gonna use this black shadow and this is my favorite part and I'm just gonna kind of smudge it out with the black shadow and then I'll show you what I do instead of a wing, which I just did by accident the other night, but I really like the way it looks. And it's okay if it's messy because it's kind of supposed to be. And it's a lot of layers because you kind of want it to be darker near the lash line and then flare out a little bit. Now I'm just gonna take my finger and sort of just go like this. I feel like that blends it, makes it look a little grungy. So I just started doing this, but I'm gonna take this like reddish color. You sort of like this on the outside. And I smudge it out to extend my eye, but not to like super lift it. But I like the pop of red. I like looking a little tired. I'm just gonna smudge that a little bit under my eye. I don't know, I just love the way that the red looks. So now I'm using a black pencil liner. And I'm gonna do my tight line and I'm gonna bring it like kind of out into this a little bit. But I'm just gonna pull my eye up. I brought a bunch of different lashes. Today I think I'm gonna do more tiny only because I like to build the small lashes up with mascara and it makes them look like real lashes. So I have this like clear glue. This is my favorite tool that's ever been invented. It's the best thing since the wheel. Basically, I just go like this and squeeze it to my lashes. It helps to blend my real lashes and sort of pull the lash down so that it blends better. It's not like up here, you know? Okay, so now we're gonna do our blending. I have two different um, mascaras. I like both of these because they have really skinny wands and I feel like they make my eyelashes look more individual. I like to focus a lot of the mascara on the top of the outer corner. I spend so much money on eyelashes. I love trying different ones because they do so much for my face and I just love the way that they look. 
And I'm gonna use this, it's like a crayon, and I'm just doing it really lightly. This is a lipstick, it looks dark, but I don't put a lot on. I'll just kind of do this. The last step is setting spray. This is the final look. I'm really happy with it. I love it. I hope you guys learned something and thank you so much for watching. Bye.